Emerging from the Timeline on the Enlightened Society Podcast. We're sure that we're on a timeline. We're sure that our individual lives are on a timeline, that civilization is on a timeline, that the cosmos is on a timeline, and that we're points on the timeline. While we are not actually on a timeline, we have collectively constructed a reality that makes this so. And that reality is ordinary and lacks meaning. And we can all sense this to some degree, but we don't know how to change it. How to see our daily lives as meaningful and purposeful and our presence profound. The idea of a timeline is a useful concept. It's helpful for understanding trajectories, which allow us to make predictions and recognize paths. They allow us to plan and organize. But our unflinching acceptance of the timeline concept distorts reality. And the timeline concept is one of the more impactful concepts on our everyday reality. All concepts inherently distort reality. They narrow, simplify, and compartmentalize. Concepts are reality tunnels. They narrow our consciousness into a particular framework. Concepts are not reality. They are abstractions, which are stale compared to reality. We take these reality concepts as the only reality and are unable to see outside of them to the broader reality due to the way our consciousness works and our limited understanding of the process of consciousness. Our lives are dramatically affected by this. We often make no distinction between concepts and reality. We have difficulty even knowing what's real, hence the state of our world. Reality is the sum total of every potential possibility, which includes our very existence, here, now, a pivotal distinction. For example, a star is infinitely complex. It's not just a light and heat source in the sky. That is how the sun commonly appears to us. It appears to us in the form of color, whitish yellow, glowing. But if we use other parts of the spectrum to look at it with, such as gamma ray or radio waves, it appears different. The sun is all the potential possibilities that it could actually be, regardless of whether they are recognized or not. That is reality. Reality itself is not a concept. If you eliminate the idea of being on a timeline from your mind, what's left? Try it now. You are not on a timeline in any capacity. What's left? We are so lost in our conceptual reality that we can hardly even answer this for ourselves. And when I tell you, you likely won't be able to grasp it on all the levels that it could be recognized. What I'm going to tell you is not a concept. It's something that you become, that you perform. What is left when you eliminate the concept of being on a timeline? Being. Not the concept, just being. In all the fullness and emptiness at once. 
be. Be present. Notice. This. This is. This is being. This is being now. This is always being now. It always has been and will be. You are this. We are this. We are just here. Now. This vantage point of clear being out of the human form is an immensely valuable place to be and place to stand and look out on reality. There is tremendous freedom and power in this simple mode of being. Returning to the timeline concept from this perspective, we can see that we are the timelines. We are existence. We are the Big Bang. We are evolution. We are all the possible things that haven't been distinguished, discovered, or named. So what do you do with this? The first step is to actually stand here. To be able to be in this mode, which is nearly impossible for us. But once you do, the first thing is to be free. Enjoy the freedom of just being, with no strings attached. Do this regularly. Once you can do this regularly, you will discover that you can do anything that you want. You are no longer limited by your conceptual reality. You don't end in this state. You begin here. This is the strong foundation which allows you to go into the world, to build a structurally sound reality on. I recommend doing things that you value. A simple concept, but how often do we actually do this? I recommend to explore possibilities at any time and in every form. Learn things, try things, create things. Create things worthy of being created. Let things that aren't valuable anymore fall away. Be here more often and explore the vast potential that lays dormant.